What do you see in the picture in front of you now? This image, taken from an 1892 German humor magazine, can either be seen as a duck or as a rabbit. If you decide that this part is the mouth of the animal, then it's a duck. If you decide that the mouth is here, then it's a rabbit. And the duck's mouth constitutes the ears of the rabbit. If you still can't see both animals, go back to it. Once you see both animals for the first time, you'll always be able to see them. This image has been used to illustrate a simple truth, and that is that there may be multiple perspectives of the same thing that are equally valid. There is an important implication to this truth for our psychological well-being. In research on test anxiety, Joe Tomaka and his colleagues demonstrated how the way we evaluate a particular situation affects our psychological and physiological states. In one of their experiments, students were given the same math test. Half of the participants were told that the test was difficult mental arithmetic and were instructed to complete it efficiently and quickly. Consequently, they experienced the task as threatening. For the students in the second group, the same task was described as mental arithmetic rather than difficult mental arithmetic. And instead of being told to complete it efficiently and quickly, they were encouraged to try hard to do their best. Unlike the first group, the second group experienced the test as challenging. So while the two groups had to take the exact same test, in other words, face the same objective reality, their evaluation of the situation, in other words, their subjective interpretation, was very different. Just as the same picture can be seen as either a duck or as a rabbit, the same test can be seen as either threatening or challenging. And it turns out that different ways of seeing can make a significant difference in how we experience a situation and in how well we do. Those in the second group who evaluated the test as challenging were calmer, more creative, and actually performed better than those in the first group for whom the same test was threatening. This is just one of many studies that confirm that a single word can make a dramatic difference in terms of our heart rate, our blood pressure, and other physiological variables related to stress. Perceiving a situation as a challenge or a threat, an opportunity or a danger, a privilege or an obligation can have a major impact on our overall experience of that situation. Identify an area in your life where you would like to bring more calm or more positive experiences in general. For example, you may be experiencing a lot of anxiety around having to give presentations or in certain social situations. Or you may be experiencing stress every morning or night when you have to get your kids ready. Then reframe the situation. If it's giving a public lecture that stresses you, Reframe it as a challenging experience or as a terrific opportunity to share what you care about with others. A bedtime routine can be perceived as nerve-wracking or as an opportunity to bond with your children. Even inherently difficult situations can be reframed. For example, a conflict with your partner can be perceived as a menace or as an opportunity to cultivate intimacy by learning about each other. At least to some extent, how you evaluate, and hence how you experience situations, is up to you. And now, close your eyes, take a few deep breaths, and imagine yourself in the particular situation you chose to reframe. For example, see yourself for a minute or two having a wonderful time reading a bedtime story to your children, or see yourself giving a lecture, teaching the audience while having fun. You can, of course, repeat this exercise in different areas and for different situations. What you focus on doesn't merely reflect reality, it also creates reality. So what kind of reality do you want to create for yourself? <laughs>